Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this cool mouse coaster. This exact design can be used on four different coasters and with a couple of tweaks you can use it on another two. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pick a roller coaster. We could use any other coasters with the hairpin bend, but we're going to start off with the wooden wild mine ride put the station down raise it up two and then we're going to go one two three four five six seven we're going to plant the entrance down there we're going to skip two tiles and then we're going to put the exit there from the front of the station then we're going to turn sharp put a hairpin corner in there and then turn back this adds a little bit of extra length to the track and later on it'll be a bit of an excitement boost as the track will go under that bend there so now we're going to go into a steep chain left so this is one two and then we're going to flatten off there now these types of coasters they need certain requirements so this particular coaster needs three drops so this is going to be the first one and we're just going to drop down once we're going to go into a bend a wide bend and then we're going to go into the hairpin bend there and turn back twice and again twice on the opposite direction just like that and then we're going to drop down so that's the second drop and one of the drops needs to be over 19 foot so that drop there more than covers that off so then we're going to carry on going straight then when we get underneath the entrance we're going to tilt up then we're going to go steep up we're going to shallow off flat steep down flat one straight piece and then hairpin to finish now with these coasters because the there's a length requirement and the length of these coasters is right on the limit sometimes when the test results come back it will come back less than that so what you have to do is you have to put it back into test to ensure that it's over the required length there's also a bug where if you've got the minimum waiting time selected it will give you a a track length shorter than if you unselect it which is really strange but what I'll do is I'll put this on the test just to show you whilst I, I sort everything else out and uh, let's give it a paint job how's that let's raise the price up because we're going to charge them 10 pound a go Okay, so the first test result should come back. This one should be okay because the ride length is shown as 561. So this one should be okay. There you go, 5.51. What I'll do though, just to show you the bug. So remember now that ride length, 561. I'm going to go in, I'm going to untick minimum waiting time. That'll do nothing. So what I need to do is I need to toggle the chain lift speed and that'll put it back into test. So whilst that's whilst we're waiting for that to come back let's do the paths so nothing fancy with the paths just going to have them long enough to have quite a few guests on them let's hire a mechanic putting that side as well because we are going to build another one and synchronize and let's have a look there you go so the excitement's actually gone up a little bit because the ride length is now recorded as 607 that's about 50 feet extra um so it's a bit of a weird bug that is um so let's open this up give her a funky name and now what we're going to do let's select all save the design and now let's go back in mighty mouse 2000 a little over 2000 pound put that down let's run this on test as well we'll ram the price up and then what we'll do now is we'll have a look at how much money the first coaster is making because we want to see how quickly it'll pay for itself. There you go, 
course it's already on 268 pounds let's select wait for full load Are the results come back for that one yep Now I've put weight for full load, but I'm going to put the maximum weight in time down to 30 seconds. The reason for that is because I want them to wait for a full load. But if there's no one queuing, because what might happen is one of the rides might get busier than the other. If there's no one queuing, I don't want one to be waiting for ages um, indefinitely because there's no one going to the other one. So what will happen is it'll wait and then as soon as the 30 seconds is up, it'll go off. So let's have a look now. 508 pounds for the first one. The throughput on these is quite low, but you do tend to find that you 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 get these coasters in scenarios. So it is it is a good one to build. It's it costs 2000. It will make you some decent money. I'm just running on fast forward now. So we're half paid for itself. Let's check out the excitement. 6.1. And there's some scenarios out there where you have to build 10 coasters over 6 excitement. So this is quite an easy one to build. It has got an excitement boost from the synchronized station. But it was about 5.6 excitement without synchronized station a little bit of scenery and it will easily get this over the six so paid for itself yet not quite now this coaster this exact design can be used on four coasters and with a couple of little tweaks you can use it on another two coasters so there you go it's almost paid for itself So what I'll do now is I'll show you the other coasters you can use it on. Okay, so we've already seen this one. This is the Wooden Wild Mine. This one here, identical design, Wooden Wild Mouse. This one here, identical design. This is the Wild Mouse. Again, good stats. This one here. Inverted hairpin coaster. Good stats. Identical design. So that's four coasters. Identical designs. So now this is where you have to tweak them slightly. So this is the Virginia reel. Now the Virginia reel doesn't have the steep, steep chain lift. So you have to do the shallow chain lift there. But it is going up to the same height. So it's a little bit longer. Because you can't go up so steep. But it does go up to the 45. It drops down to the 40. So all this bit then this next section it's the same and then because it hasn't got the steep section what I've done is I've got the exit next to the entrance and then it just comes up and then back to the station and then just here then I've got an extra flat piece just to give it an extra little bit of length because there's a longer length requirement on the Virginia reel and then this one here spinning wild mouse so it's the same design then as the Virginia reel except this hairpin it hasn't got the two straight pieces in it because it hasn't got the same length requirement as that and then underneath the stations then we've got a couple of brakes so I've got them set to 27 miles per hour we'll see now with this one it just slows down enough to get over the next hill to the third drop and then back to the station without those brakes the lateral G's at the end will be through the roof and you'll come back with a coaster that's too intense for guests to ride. And that's it. Six coasters with the same design. Give or take a couple of little tweaks. But there's certainly four, four with the exact same design and these will make a great addition to any park. They're very cheap. They all cost around about the 2000 mark and they will make you money back inside a few minutes. No problem at all. So I am Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.